Hi there. Uh, I just realized that uh, last week or a couple weeks ago I shot a video of uh, our 67 convertible Joan. Uh, this is my 1967 Carmen Coupe. Slightly modified. Very modified, actually. Um, her name is Sophia. After the attractive Italian actress Sophia Loren. We got her in uh, 1997 and slowly did a nine-year restoration. The uh, car was very rough and incomplete. Uh, in order to finish our, uh, our coupe, we ended up having to uh, purchase a donor, mainly to get the uh, interior and some other bits that uh, this one was missing. Uh, she still looks fantastic after a really great paint job that was done in 2006. So you're looking at a paint job that's roughly 16 years old. Um, it was a rotisserie restoration. Every nut and bolt on this car was taken off and put back on. Uh, I tell people, they said, do you, uh, did you do the work? And I said, I did everything you don't see. So. Paint and body was handled by a gentleman named Craig Klein. I uh, painted it in a color called GM Arrival Blue, and he added pearl to it, which gave it kind of a one-off unique um, color. Uh, decided to keep it fairly original looking, went with wheels and tires that are original uh, type that the Volkswagen would have. Uh, the nose badge is uh, actually from the uh, early Carmen Diaz, the 56, 57s had the, uh, this blue claws and A badge. The uh, glass front wheel windshield is replacement. Uh, moving on to the interior, these are original style seats that had been reupholstered uh, in white with uh, blue wool corduroy inserts. The uh, color scheme was all selected by my wife, who has a great eye for uh, these things, much better than I do. Has a flat four empty coffee GT steering wheel and the eliminator shifter with kind of a neat little touch. Um, company made up these uh, shift knobs with the little Carmen Ghia emblem on the inside, which I think is really cool. Um, the dash we painted and put a uh, speaker insert from John Capello, put in the old style grab handle. Um, moving around to the back here, you'll notice that there is a emblem that says Autobahn Edition. Kind of made this the Autobahn edition and a little bit of a nod to uh, my Autobahn GTI that I have. There was actually no such thing as a Autobahn edition Carmen Ghia, but you know, being it's all custom, I thought, what the heck. Moving on to the engine, we have a 1641cc, which is a little bit of an increase from the stock 1500 that would have normally been found on the 67. Engine bay was uh, smoothed over and painted to match the car. The engine is powder coated. Uh, dual Delordo 36 millimeter carburetors, they call them baby Dells. Chrome alternator. Um, we did a scat kit, so it's got a uh, scat crankshaft, a uh, little bit bigger um, camshaft. Uh, the heads are from Mafoco. Um, just a, it's a nice, nice little power plant for the car. The uh, air cleaner elements are the uh, vintage speed uh, items. They make some very nice stuff, and I was able to find some Delordo uh, decals to put on the top. We uh, going back to the interior. West Coast Classic Restorations. 
uh, supplied me with uh, blue German wool square weave. I have a nice little uh, parcel tray underneath. It's the uh, Bambus reproduction. Um, so our Carmen Gia was not originally going to be built as a show car. It just kind of evolved as the restoration went on. And uh, for all intents and purposes, it really is a show car, although we do drive it. Um, since 2006, we put about 13, a little over 13,000 miles on her. Uh, as you can see, the, the trunk area has been all color keyed and some custom touches have been done to it. Um, one last thing would be uh, to start her up. Replacing the uh, clock with the uh, ISP uh, tachometer. Mm -hmm. Nice little thing if anybody decides they want to do that. It's fun. Anyhow, 